I don't know why I think this is funny. Like, I'm like a rabbit. Hey family, welcome back to our channel. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's me, your girl, Gladys. And if you're new here, hi family. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching me from. If you're returning, thank you so much for being part of me, for being so amazing. Uh, you're such an amazing family that I have here. I love you so much and I don't take that love for granted. Just know I'm really grateful to have you. And if you're new here, my name is Gladys, an African girl from Uganda, Africa, the part of Africa. Yeah, here on this street, we vlog about our experience as a Ugandan who left Uganda and came to settle here in China. So it's like my life experiences with my husband who happened to be Chinese, with my mother-in-law and our unborn baby. Anyway, guys, I'm trying to get ready for bed, but I was like, we need to talk. I rarely react on my videos and respond to some of the comments, I, um, like, like doing a video responding to something, but I felt like we are family, and having you here, more so my, also my returning subscribers, it has been so amazing. I remember all the hard times I had to go through. You were there for me. I remember when I was so scared to leave the house. I didn't know where the hospital was, where the supermarket was. I couldn't go anywhere outside this house alone so but because of you i got the confidence you encouraged me you shared your experiences with me and now i can take myself out i can go wherever i want to go i'm not afraid meaning i'm catching up or i'm i'm settling in china because of you i'm really not alone because i have you only here which i'm so grateful that's why I really do appreciate that and so because we are family i thought like i should address something um about the previous video i don't know if there was a misunderstanding a miscommunication uh oh i acted badly i really don't know because honestly first things first I'm just a girl. Am I a girl? <laughs> I'm just here with my mother-in-law and my husband, of which my husband is really at home. You know that if you've been here with me. He's an engineer who happened to be having a project he's working on in the village. So he comes and leaves, comes and leaves. So meaning he's really at home. You all know that, right? But on days he comes home we do appreciate that we spend times together sometimes we even go out together we do a lot of things together and you have seen that all so usually i'm with with my mother-in-law at home if you're new on these streets we are pregnant yes we are expecting a child which I'm so grateful to, and I'm still grateful that I have been managing this journey with you still. Now, I want to apologize on the last part where I talked about my boobs being sensitive. I wasn't bringing something like that happens in bed on the table to discuss with you. All right, I admit maybe that you didn't expect that from me and I'm sorry about that, but I was just sharing about this sensitivity thing and I felt it was weird, you know, like me feeling so. But the fact that I told you about that, I wasn't telling you how we do it and everything. So maybe you misunderstood me. I was just saying like, right now I feel they are so sensitive. Anyway, sorry about that. I apologize if it offended you. I'm so sorry. Mm then most of the comments were hey people were crushing me people were beating me east west north south telling me gladys you're an african girl how can you tell your husband to cook for you why don't you get out of the bed and do it for yourself you're overdoing it you're overreacting guys um i'm 
I'm, I, I'm not sorry about telling my husband to make for me rice, honestly. Why? It was yummy when I tasted his rice that he made. And I loved it. I've been pregnant <laughs> because if I weren't pregnant, I wouldn't wake him up to tell him make for it for me. But I felt like I couldn't sleep. I couldn't hold myself. There is a way I was feeling so hungry. Uh, I don't know if I can bring that out, but that feeling, it was driving me crazy. I was like, I want to eat it. I want to have it. I couldn't stop myself. I tried. If you saw that video clearly, when I was saying how it started, I was like, I feel I want to have more. But I left it. I was like, okay, let's go to bed. Now, when we went to bed, I couldn't sleep. It kept on bothering me. I felt like I want to have that rice. I, I really wanted to eat it. And he made it yummy. I, if I knew how to make it the way he did, I would have made it for myself. But... What wrong does it have for Habi to make uh, his pregnant wife rice? Um, I at least since most of the times he's not around, and it's not like he was going to work the next day, meaning he had a um, a lot of time to take a nap the next day. I think it was not bad, or oh, it wasn't mean of me telling asking Habi because I didn't command. I, I I requested, I, I even begged several times, honey, please, you know, telling him to make for me that rice. Yes, I really wanted to eat it and you. So if I had asked for the rice and I didn't eat it, you'd be like, why would you bother the man and you don't eat the rice? You get it? But the fact that I ate, I ate the whole plate it means I really loved the rice dip. So uh, most of the times... I, you know, like when you're pregnant, they tell you sleep on your left, sleep on your right, don't sleep on your tummy, don't sleep on your back, and I'm trying to do that. There are times you wake up when you're feeling a lot of pain, you have sleepless nights at home, alone, without your husband, and you feel like you'd love your husband to be next to you, at least to tell him, honey, give me some massage. Like, will you come after me when I tell him one day, honey, give me some massage, I'm feeling hip pains. I really didn't understand and um also there are days i get sick and i feel like if my husband was next to me i even tell him on phone honey i need you i miss you if you are here maybe i want some water but oh uh, i have to stand up and i go get it for myself i'm feeling weak Guys, will you kill me because I'm telling my husband to go and get for me some water? He's my husband. He's the only... Okay. Uh, if you leave the mother-in-law, he's the only family member I have here in China. I Why would I be going through all this alone? Like, what wrong does it have me telling my husband, honey, do for me this, you know? These are the times that I'm going to come back in our lives. I'm pregnant and... Like, he's not being a, around most of the times. He's just, like, mm, around three days in a month, maybe like in two months. And after getting pregnant, it will be me with a baby, baby crying at night, you know, breastfeeding, fighting with weight, to lose weight. Like, a lot will be happening when the baby comes. So, if I can be pampered a bit, if I can ask for my husband to do something for me, I don't think, guys, you'd be getting pissed, you'd be coming after me. How dare you? You're an African girl who tells the husband to do this. Hey, um, some ladies, and uh, they would even tell their husband, go out and look for me this, you know, buy it. I, I think he didn't even have to go out to get what I want to eat. If I, I told him I wanted ice cream, I wanted to go out and do this, like, I believe he wouldn't have a choice. He's the father of the baby. Like, who am I going to tell that this is the father of the child? He's the father of the baby. So I feel like he was being um, responsible, like for it at least. I didn't wake my mother-in-law. If I had told my mother-in-law wake up and make for me this meal, I think that would have been harsh, but the fact that I got married to my husband and he's the only person I can tell first, the only help I can get first, 
if my sister was at home and I wanted the meal my sister um, maybe was making, I would, I would have told my sister, okay? And um, I really believe if it was my husband who wanted the meal at in the midnight, you wouldn't be coming for me. I being a woman, I have to wake up and make the meal for him. That wouldn't have a problem, right, with you guys. But the fact that... Um, it's me who told my husband to make for me rice. It became a huge problem. Oh, you told me how I was overreacting. I'm overdoing it. I'm over complaining. In that video, I never complained. Yes. About over complaining, the food. I wasn't complaining. I was asking how I'm feeling. Guys, like on these tweets, mm, some of you have been pregnant. Some of you haven't been pregnant, but I pray God bless you with children. Uh, may he bless the womb of your stomach uh, with babies. But let me tell you, I, I, I love Chinese food. If you have watched my previous videos, I've been in Chinese restaurants. We have gone out with hubby. I've eaten. I have shown you food. I've told you about my favorite foods here in China so far. <laughs> anyway, I can't brush while talking to you. So I have shown you my favorite dishes that I love. And I really do miss them. Sometimes seeing them and I can't have them, it's, you know, be like, I miss this. I even tell my husband, I miss eating jowzi. I miss eating meshe. They are my favorite. I miss hot pot. But I can't have it. Why? It's because I'm pregnant. It's not like I'm saying I don't like Chinese food. I don't want it. Yes, like I'm sharing with you what I'm experiencing as a Ugandan, as a foreigner who's living in China. Being pregnant, my pregnancy wants me to have African food that I didn't have access to. Uh, I tried getting matok bananas, the green bananas that are from China. Not matoke, not our African food. I tried eating it. Few days, I started throwing it out. I got tired of it. I felt like I want to eat my matoke the food from uganda even my husband told me um uh, we can we can't have it so what should i do because he, yes he didn't but who would have cried for i had to cry to my husband you know i couldn't cry alone i had to tell him like this is what i feel i want this is what i want to eat because that's what my stomach my my baby my Craving was asking for and everyone I was telling in my family members they were like we wish we have a way of sending you food and some of them they were telling me once you get that food you will not eat it you know that's what happens with pregnancy but surprisingly um when I got that food I stopped vomiting I became happier even my husband told me himself you're happy even the daughters were like you okay you have not been coming for ivs that like the, the injection that drips that i can be taking because i was not eating i was throwing up like hell even my mother-in-law told me maybe talk to your dad and see the way they can send you food how can we get it everyone wanted to help but there was no way who would i have complained to it would have been my husband you know and it wasn't wrong sharing with you what I was experiencing because someone will also get pregnant in China or in another country and they crave food from their countries that they can't have. So I wasn't coming against China that I don't love their food, what, what, no. I was just saying I can't stand the smell of Chinese food, like the food prepared here in China. I can even sometimes barely go out. The smell, I smell like crazy. I, I think I have the most sensitive smell right now, you know. I can smell something that is up close on the other house. Like when they are preparing, I can't stand garlic. I love garlic, you know, but I can't stand it. So me updating you, telling you guys, you know what, I've woken up and I'm preparing my African meal since we got my toke. I still can't stand Chinese food. I don't see how I'm complaining i'm just updating you but maybe you took it as if i'm complaining i'm making it hard on my husband i really wanted to be you know to enjoy to be i'm right now honestly i'm so easy with my husband i don't ask for food because i have it 
we are all good i'm happy as you see my videos like i'll be smiling no more crying nothing you know like we are good because we managed to get a food and let me tell you okay if i didn't tell her that i want my toki and we tried whatever we could until someone who watched my video alice i still say thank you so much who shared my video and it was added in the group where ugandans are here in china now i can i know like i can get help from ugandans i am in a group full of 500 ugandans here you know i know like okay if i want to get some assistance i can reach out to this person ugandans are here and i know where to get them i can chat with them before if i didn't share with you i could be just crying to myself all alone you know so about me telling my husband to prepare for me the rice i'm not sorry we ate the rice we enjoyed it and yeah he's our husband he's the father of the baby who am i going to cry to nobody he's my friend my best friend he's all i have here okay just know i need him i feel i need him to be next to me like to you know to massage me sometimes like when i'm feeling that hip pains to help me grab something when because our bump is getting bigger and there are times you feel like it's becoming so heavy you eat something small and you know so i think as a woman needing my husband or asking a hand from my husband maybe next time i'll tell him honey get me some fruits like is it a crime i really doubt so i'm really not sorry about telling my husband to make for me a meal he wasn't going to work the next day he was at home with me and this the time i happened to have with him since he's really not at home so nothing wrong with it enjoying the time that i have with my husband him being involved in this pregnancy thing why should i be alone in this you know like why honestly so that's what i think yeah and even if i was married to an african man uh i would tell him and maybe he just refuses so i don't know if we only had a miscommunication a misunderstanding but yeah let's not judge like what chinese and you know ugandans africans can do it's all about knowing your partner how you talk to him because i wasn't harsh how you handle him and you know they told you it's all about you so I'm just sorry about me talking about the boobs being sensitive, but I'm not sorry about telling my husband to make for me the rice. Okay, guys. Yeah, that is it. Uh, let's brush. Go take a bath, and we have to apply our bio oil on my stomach twice a day, so that we don't get stretch marks, guys. I, I i saw someone saying like even if you apply oil you still get straight marks is it true guys does pregnancy cause that comment down below i also use this yeah because my tooth uh, my gums are bleeding a lot i visited a dentist and he was telling me to have more vitamins i'll be good